How do you avoid codependency when you are in a master-slave relationship? Enmeshment and connection won't be tolerated in a healthy connection because a healthy connection is unity, is two holes coming together. Enmeshment erases identity by seeking unity through annihilation of self. Annihilation of self. In both cases, we end up with oneness. But in enmeshment, someone's identity has to die. Identity has to die. It's incredibly tough. Identity has to die. Here's my definition of enmeshment. The prevention or removal of personal expression, individual identity, emotional autonomy, and or physical privacy. Annihilation of self. That's enmeshment. Annihilation. That's enmeshment. This is how it shows up in DS dynamic. This is how it shows up in romantic relationships. Losing sight of self-care, friendships, and responsibilities when you're experiencing relational conflict. That identity has to die. Feelings of happiness and overall mood depend on the state of the relationship. That identity has to die. There's excessive anxiety during conflict and or compulsions to fix conflict out of fear of abandonment. That identity has to die. Your partner's moods and emotional states determine your mood and emotional state. That identity has to die. Conflict feels threatening, like it could damage the relationship or offend the other person. That identity has to die. The other person's dreams or changes feel worrisome if they don't involve you. That identity has to die. Someone's boundaries are regularly shut down or belittled by the enmeshed person. And as the enmeshed person, you feel a sense of anxiety when you are apart from the other person. Topics are regularly swept under the rug. And as a result, all of this enmeshed behavior creates distance. That identity has to die. Distance, emotional distance. It's going to be constant, exhausting boundary setting toward the enmeshed person. Because the enmeshed person needs to feel enmeshed to feel safe. Connection equals enmeshment to the enmeshed person. That identity has to die. It's highly controlling. That identity has to it's die. Highly violating. That identity has but to it die. It feels like love. It feels like a loving connection to the enmeshed person. Needs to feel enmeshed to feel safe. In a master slave dynamic, it has to start, in my opinion, with the dominant, with the master. They have to be so full of power, authority, and security that they won't tolerate codependency and enmeshment. That identity has to die. That's enmeshment. Annihilation of self. That's enmeshment.